Hi and welcome to this very short video where I am not going to be talking about the BMW G310GS but in fact about this, the SW Motec rear bag. Now before we dive into the bag I want to tell you exactly how I travel. I travel a lot but I do not camp. This body is too broken and old to be lying on the floor and I like to go to bed and breakfasts or hotels or guest houses and for that I needed a small bag because I hardly ever travel for more than three or four days at a time. I was looking for a bag that could hold at most four t-shirts, four pairs of underpants, socks, a jean and maybe two sneakers to go with that. Now for that the SW Motec rear bag is just perfect. The SW Motec rear bag is supposed to be a universal bag that can fit onto almost any bike. I like the design of the pack, it is made of a very durable material and it's got these two reflective strips should you be riding at night, which I'll probably never do. The bag itself has got a fairly cavernous inner compartment that is expandable upwards and then it's got these two side bags that has got a waterproof zip to enclose whatever you have in there. Now on my last travel I packed all my clothes in here and then this side pocket held my toothbrush, toothpaste and a bottle of deodorant and so you can see that it is fairly spacious on both sides. Now on the inside of the bag you have this section here that stays closed with a zipper. This zipper is also lockable, it's got a loop in here that you can lock the two zips and up here you have a mesh pocket that you can store stuff like your wallet and your cell phone or whatever you want to hold close to you and that so that when you open it's readily available. There is a fair amount of space between this part of the bag and, and the top of the bag so you can possibly put something in here like a rain suit if you think that rain is imminent. Now let's discuss quickly what you get with the bag. First of all obviously you get the bag and then you get four straps which you can attach to the bike with four attachment points. I'll go through that just now. Now secondly there's this. This is a waterproof inner bag. This is not something that you put over the bag to make it waterproof when it rains but instead this is something that you pack on the inside and you pack all your stuff inside this bag, tie that down and then this part will be waterproof on the inside. The bag itself is not waterproof although this part of it is water repellent. So if you are in a heavy downpour you'll have to unpack everything, pack it into here and close that off otherwise whatever's inside is going to be wet. There's these two straps now I'm not even going to you know, unpack those because I don't think I'll ever use them. What happens here is that on this D-ring over here and this D-ring over there, there's a D-ring at the back here as well. So you put that strap around on both sides and then you can wear this as a very uncomfortable backpack. Also in here is this particular gadget and I'll explain its use just now. And then what SW Motec has also done is they've given you an A4 sheet with stickers on it. This part where the strap goes over the side of the bike, you can put a sticker on there so that that doesn't scuff the paint. I think that's a nice inclusion for this particular bag. I just want to show you quickly how the attachment works on this bike. At the front of the bike you will find attachment points near your foot pegs or whether it's been on, in this case, the GS has got a little loop at the bottom there that you can attach things to. But you will find an attachment point at the front of the bike. On the little GS I have this little bracket at the back that I can attach the bag to. Now how this works is you just loop this through with a loop over there. This part goes through the loop and then you can just cinch it down like that. And now this goes uh, to the back here. You just tie the things through here and then you can just pull it tight. Now there we go, you pull it tight. Now, to get rid of this, SW Motec have thought about that too. You fold this in half, or how many ever loops you want to do, and then you tuck it into this little elastic over there, and then you, that's done, and then you don't have any straps flapping in the wind. But what happens if you don't have an attachment point at the back of the bike? That's where this little thing comes in. This is another attachment that SW Motec include in the bag, and it is just a short strap with a hole in it. So what you can do is you can unscrew, let's say, this screw of the indicator and you can screw that to there and there you have your attachment point. 
The SW Motec rear bag is a very versatile pack for when you do not want to travel for very long. This bag, as I said, can also expand. It is expandable by quite some margin and you can pack a fair amount of stuff in here. The benefit of this bag also is that if I ever sell this motorcycle, I can put this bag onto any other motorcycle. This is a very well-made bag from SW Motec. I'm very impressed with the quality of the material. So if you are looking for a tail pack for your motorcycle, then you should be looking at the SW Motec rear bag.